We're at the Marine Terminal here at the port, and you can see the West Seattle Bridge in the background and a ship actually having containers loaded onto it. And this is where the ships come to either have the containers taken off or the containers put on the ships so that they can head off to their next destination. Salmon, potatoes, hops, and apples are just some of the products that come and go from the Port of Seattle. This is the first stop for the trucks carrying the containers here at the port. They have to stop here first and check in, and then basically they're told where to go next. I'm here with Seattle Port Commissioner Bill Bryant, and we are in the heart of the port right we now. We are tell in us, the heart of the port. Tell us exactly where we're at. We're surrounded by all kinds of action. We're, uh, we're on Terminal 5, which is one of the major terminals here at the port mm -hmm. that can accommodate large ships. We want to remodel it to accommodate the even larger ships. More, okay. Um, the ship's <laughs> right over there. Probably takes about six to 9,000 containers, but the new generation of ships take 16,000 containers. Right, so we are just seeing more and more. We are seeing more and more growth, and a lot of that is to service our industries in Washington State, such as the potato industry. Right, so how important is uh, this port to the state's ag business uh, and, the, and this, the products that we have This here? port and the port in Tacoma, the ports in Puget Sound are very important to our agricultural business. We will ship about $4.3 billion in agricultural products out through the Port of Seattle this year. That's in apples, that's in hay, that's in frozen fries, and a lot of other commodities that are grown in Washington State. Wow. If we didn't have these deep water ports here, uh -huh. those products would have to be shipped through California or Canada, and that'd be a real disadvantage to our producers. That would. How much uh, money are we talking about, like for the economy well, and all that? $4.3 billion is the value of the exports, yeah. but that's not really taking into account the job-generating power of the port. The Port of Seattle estimates that this port facility, the Marine Port, is responsible for about 100,000 jobs around Washington State. Those are jobs in apple packing plants in Chelan and potato froth processing facilities in the Tri-Cities and hay yards in Ellensburg. Yeah. So it has a job generating influence around Washington State. What are the main products that are uh, being exported from the here? The largest product, agricultural product from Washington State would be hay. The products that are using refrigerated containers, and we just had one, there's one right there. Those are refrigerated containers. The largest products going out in refrigerated containers would be frozen fries mm -hmm. and apples. What's happening is those will get loaded into refrigerated containers mm -hmm. in eastern central Washington. Those containers will come here by truck, wow. and then those refrigerated containers will be loaded on. The refrigeration will be maintained during voyage, and then they'll arrive in Manila or Seoul or Singapore or wherever frozen fries will ultimately be consumed. Yeah, we saw a container of kiwis. Obviously, they are not from here. Right. <laughs> they came here. Well, I mean, what kind of products are we seeing that are being imported to us? Like, oh, well, while we are a major producer of apples, for example, we still do import apples from New Zealand. We're mm -hmm. importing kiwis from New Zealand. We'll import grapes from countries during the off season so that we can have fresh produce in our supermarkets all year round. So while we are exporters, we're also importers or a number of